Good morning, guys. Well, welcome to the last episode of our introduction to Python programming. So today we'll be talking about lists and um, dictionary. So, but before that, um, I gave us an assignment in our last class on the, um, the exponent function that we wrote a program on exponent function. So we are asked to rewrite the function in a way whereby it takes in the base number and the power number from the end user. So I'll be showing us the solution to that and compare to your own and see if you are right. So if you are unable to do it, you can just copy the code and I will explain the code as well. So this is the solution to the program. So this is the advanced um, program to the exponential function written before. So, so here now, all we did was that on the first line, I was going to ask, write a print statement to ask the user to enter the base number. So on entering the base number, don't forget that our input function, make use of our input function, base number, we, we assigned the input function to the base number. But as you can see, we make use of the int function here as well. What the int function does is that, so don't forget that any input, any thing enter into the input function is automatically um, assigned to the data type string. So we need to find a way to convert it to an integer so that our, our exponential function will be able to understand that we are to use that we are to multiply, we are to find the power of uh, an integer. So we have to convert the string to an integer. So that is the reason why we make use of the int function there. So that it will convert, it will automatically convert our input to a string data type. So we do the same thing for the power number. So after doing that, we write our def function and we define the function name and we enter the parameters, which are the base number and the power number. So we initiate our result to be equals to one and we write our first statement, uh, index in range of the power number and uh, the next line of code um, does the exponential work and it stores the results into the form into install uh, it stores our results into the results variable and we return the results we return our results so here now we add a print statement to it that i should print your exponential result is this so here now the reason why we can see that we converted our um our function back to string because we want to concatenate it with the string data type here so let's run this and see how it works so here now we have a please enter base number so our base number let's say three and next thing ask for our power as well so let's have our power to be three as well so press enter you can see your exponential result is 20 27 so you know 3 raised to the power 3 gives 27 let's try another example as well so let's say we make use of 2 or we'll make our exponential function to be our power to be 4 and we have 16 so you can see our exponential function is now working correctly so you can come you can compare it to your own code and see where you've made mistakes or if you got it right just see if you write it in a different way and just compare and just so let's move on to the topics that i want to treat today so we are working on list and dictionaries so what are lists what are dictionaries so basically list so it's one of the it's another topic that we need to understand before 
will begin writing programs in a So it's one of the very important things we need to understand in Python. So lists can contain multiple values, just like tuples can contain multiple values, which makes it easier to write programs that handle large amounts of data. So when you are working with the large, when you want to work with large data, so you make use of a list. And since lists themselves can contain other lists, you can use them to arrange data into hierarchical structures. So you can actually make a list inside another list. So you can have multiple of lists inside a big list. So with that, you can create a data of an hierarchical structure. So, so the list data type, the list, <coughs> a list is a value that contains multiple values in an ordered sequence. The term list value, value refers to the list itself, which is a value that can be stored in a variable or passed to a function like any other value. Not the values inside the list value. So a list value looks like this. So let's show ourselves an example of how list looks like. So let's open a new file, a new Python file, and we name it lists. For this mouse, so enter. So run it so you can see very well. So list looks like this. So first thing we need to do is to open a square bracket. So inside the square brackets are the list of data, the list of data sets that we need. So we can say in our data we can have a string like IR, liar. We can have an integer, let's say three, nineteen. We can have a floating number. 0.9 can have any data type any type can be inside a list we have, um, okay. so this is an example of list and it can be assigned to a variable can say uh, spam is equals to this so anytime you call spam anytime you print spam we have our values print spam Values in list. Let's run our code and see how it works. You can see we have our list values. So that's list for us. So now, so like I said, uh, a list begins with an opening square bracket and ends with a close closing square bracket. Values inside the list are also called items. So all these values in the list are called items. Like IO is an item, bio is an item, theory is an item, 19 is an item, 3.9 is an item, only is an item as well. So they are all items. So they are all items. So that's, that's one of the things I need to understand about list so items are separated with commas like you can see here they are separated with commas after io after the first item we have comma the next item we have comma so they must be separated by commas so so we can have as um okay we can have list of um, integers we can have list of strings list of uh, mixtures of strings, integer, floats, boolean, and the likes. So an example now, let's say we can have our list to be, to be this alone. Our list can be, let's say, um, hello, separated with comma, world, separated with comma, you separated with comma don't forget our string must always be in third format so we can also have another list like um one comma two comma three 
you can have a um, list of uh, mixture mi mixtures of uh, strings um let's say hello comma true comma true which is a boolean data type and we can have our floating as a 3.90 so it's still a list so if we print it out and it's, it's a valid list so you can say um a is equals to this so the moment you run you print a so when you print a now run it so we have our a hello to pro 3.9 so you can see our list is so now let's advance on our list so let's say we want to get individual values in a list we want to get individual values in it and you say we have list like we have now let's delete some of the list let's show ourselves an example of that let's say we want to make use of um, this spam so let's delete all this one so we now need the we need the um third item the third item in this list you can see don't forget that python starts counting from zero so let's say we want to print the first item now let's print the first item so to this spam the list and um and then um, the index number that's zero in the moment you run this okay let's we need to add the print statement the print statement and we run it and we see what we have here so you can see that's the first item on the list we want to print the second item now say one and you run it you can see we should have bio so let's print the last item to print the last item you can actually count zero one two three four five and that will be zero one two three four five and that will be um index five so run it and you have your last item which is only let's run the fourth item and see what we have you can see we have 3.9 so the another way another way to print is by using the negative index negative indexing so for mix of net negative index for this last to print the last index you can make use of negative index by just entering minus one so to print the last one for us so let's run it and you see we have only so we want the next one second to the last i just put two and um run it and see what we've got so you can see we have 3.9 minus four and we should have uh, something like three so so that's that about printing out items in a particular list so now another thing to talk about uh, is that okay let's talk about getting some list um, with slices so just as an index can be get okay just as an index can get a single value from a list a slice can get several values from a list in the form of a new list a list is typed between square brackets like an index but it has two integers separated by a colon so this is the difference between the index and slice let's say for instance now we have a spam 2 let's run spam 2 now so if we run this we'll have um, three but if we are to run um let's copy this and uh, paste another one there and say let's run between one to four and see what we've got so you can see the difference so this is slicing these are um, one range four 
is slicing so it's going to print between values between 1 to 4 in, with in the index value between 1 to 4 so that will be IO bio yeah that will be sorry that will be bio it starts from index 1 that's bio index 2 which is a uh, which is a uh, three and index three which is 19 like I used to say Python neglects the last index so it won't print index 4 for us so it will stop on index 3 so that's that about um, slicing so and let's just try more examples you can say 2 to 5 so let's comment this section out and run this code see how it works so we have 319.3.9 so you can actually print everything so let's say zero and we didn't add anything to the back you should print the old the old list for us so let's run it and we have our complete list io bio and I know. so this shows that we, are, we want all the lists so let's say this and let's say three and let's run it so it starts from zero bio and stops on three index two so that is that about slicing so what else can we talk about on our list we need to understand on this so you can get you can actually get um a list length by using the function the function length the inbuilt function length so you can you can print the length of a, of a particular of a particular list so to do that we just apply our function length and we close the brackets and we run it we have the list of our the length of our list so let's run it so we have six so counting from zero okay let's you can see one two three four five six so we have um, six elements in our list so the length function counts the elements each element in list and Print the total number of the elements in our list. So let's say, for instance, that we have a whole large of data set. We have a whole large of data in our list. So and we want to know the number of length, the number of items in that particular list. So we can make use of the length function to get to know the total number of data in our list, total number of items in the list. So, so let's talk about list concatenation. So like um, talked about concatenation in strings, so we can also concatenate in list as well, and we can replicate in list. So to do that, so let's say for instance that we have um, we have this list values. So let's comment this. Out. Let's use the multiple line comments so now we have um, we have lists 1 comma 2 comma 3 and we have another list we have list a a comma B comma C so now we can actually add the two together by making use of our addition so to concatenate it so and I'll say that we can now print this okay, let's print everything out print Let's run it and see what happens. So you can see now it has concatenated the two lists together. So we have one, two, three, A, B, C in a single list. So let's assign each list to a variable and make use of the variable, add the variables together. So let's say, for instance, now we say A is equals to this and um, B 
is equals to this. So now, I will now say C is equals to A plus B plus B. So now, now print C. And so we have the same thing. So if we want to print A now, let's check our A. You see, run it. Okay. So we have A is 1, 2, 3. List of 1, 2, 3. And B is a list of A, B, and C. So, but C, we've concatenated A and B together to give us C. And our C will be what? 1, 2, 3, A, B, C. So, that's concatenation. So, now let's talk about, um, uh, let's talk about the replication. So replication. So we can do replication. Don't forget we do we did the replication in string as well. So to replicate, we multiply. So we do the same thing here as well. So let's say for instance, now huh, we want to replicate our a. So or let's say okay, let's replicate a. To replicate a, so let's sign let us assign another variable to that. So let's say d is equals to a times 3 let's say times 2 so if we print our d now we should have a replicated so you can see we have 1 2 3 1 2 3 same way our string is done so list and string they are bit closer they are somehow close they have some uh, similarities you can see those are the similarities that they have you can concatenate and you can replicate both on string and uh, list so now let's talk about removing values from list with delete statement so due to the delete statements um, the delete statements will delete values at an index in a list. All of the values in the list after the deleted value will be removed up one index. So for example now, let's make use of our spam. Okay. Let's uncomment it. Let's um Let's comment this out as well. So back to our spam. So now we want to delete. We want to delete um, the item three on our list. So the first thing we need to do is that we need to get the index of three. So the index of three will be counting from zero, zero, one, two. You can see that our item three is on index number two so to delete that all we need to do is just the, just to call the delete statement with our spam so just say so delete spam and uh, the index number which is two run our code let's say let's print our spam after them so let's run it and see so you can see our our item 3 has been deleted on the list so that's that about deleting so also we can use a um, loop we can use loops on uh, with lists so i think we've shown ourselves 
than before but let's just do a little let's show ourselves a little example on it another example on it just to remind us so let's say for instance i want to print the values in our list so let's forget about this one let's comment it out yeah so for i want to print um the items in our list so say for i in um, spam say print i run it and see what we got so you can see uh the values in our list are pretty are printed out in um, sequential form you can see we have io we have bio we have three we have 19 3.9 and we have well uh, only so so those are the things that we can, we can actually append on list as well so we can append on list so let's see how that works so all we need to do is to make use of the um append statements because of the append statements so let's say we want to append another item to spam so all we need to do is call the spam spam dot append so and um, we enter the item we want to add to it so let's say we want to add uh, a bit to it So if we print out our spam now, we see that a beep that have been appended to it. So let's run it and see we have a beep appended to our list. So likewise, if we want to insert, we want to insert a particular item, we want to insert an item at a particular index. We can make use of um, insert. So how insert works is that um, first call the index number that I want to append. I want to insert the item to, followed by the item value. So let's show ourselves how that works. So let's make use of our spam. Insert. So we want to insert it at index one. So put one comma. So the name of the item that I want to insert, let's say a bib. Want to insert a bib at index one. So let's run it and see. Oh God! You can see now that a bib is on index one. I believe it's not like we append I added it at the back. It actually, uh, it actually append it. It actually inserted it at the particular index that we initialized. So that's that. We bow down. So I understand that what we can do with list is that we can actually copy in list. We can copy. Let's say we want all the values in this spam to be copied to another to be copied to be assigned to another variable just a copy of it so all we can do is just say um let's say um spam two i mean let's say egg let's say egg is equals to is equals to um spam dot copy make use of the copy statement so the moment to print like the moment to print egg should have the same value as our spam let's comment this out let's print it through and run it you can see we're having the same value as um 
the sperm and the egg so let's let's comment this out to see you can see egg now have the same value with sperm so we have the same value with us the same value with sperm so that's that about list so now next thing on the list is to talk about the um, let's treat the dictionary so and uh, we call our class a day so let's what are dictionaries so so we're talking about dictionary data type uh, so it provides a flexible way to assess and organize data then combine dictionaries with your knowledge of list from the previous um, works you will learn we'll talk about how to create a data structure so the dictionary data type like a list a dictionary is a collection of many values but unlike indexes for list indexes for dictionaries can use many different data types not just integers indexes for dictionaries are called keys and a key with, with its associated value is called a key value pair. So, an example of a dictionary is, a, is this. Let's show ourselves an example of a dictionary. So, we can have this. Okay, let's clear this. Let's clear. Um, okay, let's open a new file for our dictionary. So, new file, don't file. Dick. So let's enlarge it. So you can see Dick is equals to. So for dictionary, we make use of curly brackets. Open and closing curly bra brackets. So in the brackets, you can now enter the keys and uh, and values. You can say the size equals to fat, fat, followed by comma. We have um, what else can we make use of? It? Let's say color equals to red color to be red and um okay let's leave it that way so now here you can see this is the way the dictionary works we have the key which is the size in this in this example size is the key fat is the value color is the key and um, red is the value so that's that's how um dictionary looks like so these are signs a dictionary to the we assign a dictionary to to the very variable called dick dictionary keys are size and um, color and the values of these keys are fat and um, red, respectively. So we can assess these values through their keys. So we want to assess these values now. I can just say, I can just print, print. So you can print um the um the size and run it and see what we will get. So we should get fat. So we will print color. You get red. Sorry, that was a mistake. So you should get red. 
so you see we have red so it works with key you call the key and it print out the value for us so let's try and see how um, let's try and understand the uh, differences between dictionaries and lists unlike lists items in dictionaries and on ordered you can see from our list we have ordered values the values are ordered they are ordered items from index 0 1 down to the last index so the first item in a list named spam will be the spam 0 which is the first index but there is no first item in a dictionary there is nothing like a first item like maybe item 0 or something in a, in a dictionary why the order of items matters for determining whether two lists are the same does not matter in what other the key value pairs are typed in a dictionary so now that's one of the differences between um, dictionaries and lists so the order the order of the list order of items in a list matters when comparing two lists together so but for dictionaries doesn't mean the moment all the values all the values in a particular dictionary are the same with the other dictionary it's it's a um, it's it is actually equal the in the dictionaries is they are equal but for list if the all the order of the items are not the same in the two lists they are not equal they are not the same so list is as a, as a different as a different thing entirely so because dictionary are not ordered they can't be sliced like list so like we sliced in list we can't do that in dictionary trying to assess a key that does not exist in a dictionary will result in a result in, a, in, in an error so it will give us an error like a key error message much like a list out of range index error so let's try and let's try some example to let's understand what we're trying to say so let's compare two lists let's compare two lists with the same items in different order and see what we we'll get if it will be true or false and come and do the same thing for a dictionary and see what we we'll get if it will be true or false so now we're making use of this example let's create a list of spam and a bacon so let's um let's do that by saying let's delete this okay can actually add something to this dictionary but not now let's just let's create a list a list spam is equals to we have um item cat we have item dog and um what else? I have item cow. So now let's have another another list. Bacon. To be equals to the same items but in different order. Let's say we have dog. We have um, cats. And um, we have um, cow. So now, let's do the same thing for dictionary. Let's copy this and paste it here and see what we we'll get. So we have um, fat, size fat, color red, um, and um, what else? Height. Okay. Height. Let's say four. Height should be seven. So let's copy the same thing and change the order of the items. Let this come here. Control X and see what we got. Okay. So you can see now we have the spam. We have cat, dog, cow, and on bacon we have dog, cat, cow. But they are the same items but in different orders. So on the dick side, let's name this um um 
dock yeah so on the dock side you have the size to be equal to fat color red height seven color on the dock side we have color red size fat we have the same items but in different order so we want so what we want to do now is try to okay let's try let's try and copy this and um i want it to be different entirely that's just to show us how how this this works so now what we want to do now is that we want to check we want to compare we want to compare the two this is list this is dictionary so we want to get to understand the difference between list and dictionary so now you say spam equals equals to bacon i will come here and say is um and say is um okay says um dick equals equals to dog and then we'll run it and see what we've got so let's comment this out and um this so let's run it and see what we've got okay fine we need to print forgot to add our print statements Same thing for this. We add our print. Okay. And let's run it and see what will happen. So you can see for the list aspect, even though we are having the same items but in different order, it's actually for sees it as a different list. But for dictionary, it's actually true. The same list but in different order, but you see that the same thing. And so that's the reason why slicing can be work, can be possible on list but not on dictionary because dictionary sees anything in the list but as uh, it's the the the, um, the values and keys in dictionary are in on other form. For that of um, list, they are in other form. So that's that about the comparison and the friends between them so now so let's work with um, some functions uh, under dictionaries let's talk about the function keys values and items show ourselves some example so yeah you need to understand that we have there are three dictionary methods that will return list like values of dictionary keys we have the keys values or both keys and values so we have um, the functions keys function values and we have function items the values returned by these methods are not true list they cannot be modified and do not have an append method but these data types dict keys dict values and dict items especially can be used in for loop to see how this method works see how it works so let's let's run this so now let's make use of our let's go back to our pygram and make use of our dig so let's delete this and um, comment this so now let's start by running our python our for loop statement we say for i in uh, for i in our dick values dick dot values yeah say print i see all we get we should have list of values okay you can see we have um we have fat we have red so it actually loops through the dictionary so it's going to it's going to print out the values of our dictionary you can see we have um fat to be the value for size 
and we have red to be the value for column. So let's now say is uh, we need only the keys to be printed out in a, in a sequential form. So we can actually change these values and make use of the key statements. So I'm going to say keys and we run it and we have the key values we should have size and color so we have size and um, color so that's that about that one so let's say we now want um want our values we want our values to be in a, in a list format we can actually make use of um, list function we are saying i just say there's no need for using a for loop all we need to do is we need a print statement a print function and we need a list function and um what's next we add dig dots values or keys let's make use of keys and let's see what we got so you can see we have our size we have fat we have size and color those are the keys we change these keys to values we should have uh, we should have fat and red so that's that about that one so let's um use um the items let us apply the items so for the items so you can use um wants to show that the key want to show the key and the value the key and uh, and the value so you can make use of uh for for loop statements let's list this so for i comma j in uh, dick dot item items so we can now print we can now print our key and um, value we can print our key and value we can just say print print um that's i plus um j so concatenate it and let's run it and see what we get size fat color red so let's say we added in the space between so Let's say we add plus air and um, put space here and we run this again. And we have size, fat, color, red. So let's do it in a more better way. In a better way, we can say our key, our key. Yeah. Plus I. Plus. Um, values. Um, values. Value. Uh, okay. Plus J. Let's see what this will give us. So we have key value. So we need space. We need space somewhere around air. We need space there. And uh, we can add plus air. Plus. Okay, so we can run this. 
is you can see now we have key size value fat we have our key which is um color and our value to be close to red so now i hope you understand what list and dictionary is and um others um loop statements if and the others so with this we come to the end of our introduction to python programming basic class so i wish you all best of luck thank you very much i'm a follow once again